Hi, Mystery Riders. Welcome to Mystery Fix, where we talk about writing mysteries. So today I want to talk about casting your characters because it helps your mystery. To make your character function in this story, you want your character in the story in context otherwise so anyway how they fit how they serve the story um otherwise the character doesn't fit and you can get rid of them but you want to help your readers identify each character with details and you create details that set each character apart from the other characters so you don't have bad guy one bad guy two bad guy three almost indistinguishable so one of the things that casting your characters will help you with is how they dress how they speak um their voice is it high or low melodious or grating um their speech patterns um, any unique quirks that they do on um, individual physical traits which you want to use sparingly but you know a scar on the cheek or a limp or something like that so through the writer Dana Haynes recently spoke at my local sisters in crime chapter here in Portland and he advised something I've been doing for years and that is cast your characters Use film actors and public personalities to embody your characters as you write. It doesn't matter if they are living, it, Winston Churchill, it doesn't matter. Um, but what you want is the sense of how they move and speak. For instance, I cast footballer Adam Bogdan as one of Argalika's bodyguards in my present work the grain merchant i wanted that energy and that fierceness and that able his body moving through the air and i wanted it with me whenever he appears in the story so you can differentiate your characters with distinct character traits and it's okay to borrow them from famous people so use your character Bible. This is where it really helps to keep notes. So when you bring in a character back after 50 pages, you know the details. Um, so create a character background for each one of your characters. Don't skip anybody, even the smallest, even the smallest parts. Um, some writers use a binder with tabs for each character um, you can use um, there are several uh, writing apps like Scrivener or Story Shop that already have you know those character um, cards built in um, so use them so whatever tool you choose enumerate the character traits that differentiate the character to make them memorable for your reader. That's what you want. Um, and you'll guide your readers through the maze of characters you create with these special details. And if a character gets left behind for 50 pages, for the reader, one outstanding detail will refresh your reader's memory. That's where these details are really, are really helpful. So borrow freely from your actor, as well as physical and personality tra traits. Your actor may inspire the perfect secret and the lies your characters construct to make them a suspicious suspect. So um, this is really a great process. I, I highly advise doing this. Um, casting each one of your characters because amazing things start to happen as you do this 
the actor's voice and speech patterns will help you write dialogue unique to each character so your dialogue doesn't feel flat. Each character speaks in a distinctive way with distinctive mannerisms and you can borrow from your actors. This is where your actors will really help you nail, nail those dialogue phrases. And when you cast each character, you'll have an immediate, you will have an immediate fix on their personality as you write. And you'll have a redhead with attitude, a debonair ex-husband, or a sultry pouting mistress. And I just thought for those, I thought Lucille Ball, Cary Grant, Gloria Graham. It doesn't matter who you choose. It's just that. You, the actors really help you embody that character. So how do you do your casting call? So once you have your character's context in the story, you can start searching for your cast. And if you already have an actor in mind, gather some images and put them in your character Bible. Even if you know this actor, they're one of your favorite actors, don't worry. Put those images in because they really help fix that character in your mind. And if you want to get a better fix on a character and you, you can perform an online search with terms like sex, age, and hair color. So um, male, early 20s, brown hair. And you'll just be amazed uh, how... Uh, search will give you plenty of results and as you narrow your choices down to one or possibly two characters to use um, the process really helps you fix that character in your head because what's going to happen is you see all these all these faces actors and you go, no, that one's not quite right, and that one's a maybe, and da da da. And as you narrow it down, it's helping you really get a fix on that character and their personality and how they look. Um, it's just a great creative process to help you with the characters in your story. The selection process helps you understand your character because from the wide range of choices you'll see many and you're going to narrow it down to one and oftentimes what happens is you may have some general idea of actors but there may be someone you hadn't even thought about and it turns out that they are the one that's the perfect fit for that character. So I highly recommend this process. It's just great for getting that character visualized in your head. So when you're writing, you see, see the character. I don't know. For me, a list of details doesn't do it. But if I have an actor and an image in my head, it really helps me as I'm writing and the character is there in the presence of of the actor as I'm writing my story. So both the search and the final choice will help you write a character that readers remember. And that's the deal. So thank you so much. As always, ask me questions. You can post them below the video. And I will see you next time.